The freehand tool allows you to draw shapes like you can with a pen or pencil. The toolbar contains a number of settings for this tool. Expand the freehand options menu in the toolbar. You'll notice some variable line width options that control how the strokes respond while you draw. Uncheck the Taper Start and Taper End options to create blunt ends on the stroke. Check the options to create tapered ends. With None selected, your stroke will maintain the same width throughout. If you have a tablet, choose Use Pen Pressure. The amount of variation is set in the Width Variation field. This will vary the width of the line depending on how much pressure you put on the pen. To vary the stroke width while using a mouse, choose Random. You'll notice that the line will get thicker and thinner as you draw. Click your mouse to begin drawing with the other options set to their default. Note that the Auto Close and Merge Strokes options are unchecked. Make sure you're drawing at frame 0 when you draw. The tool will not draw on frame 1 or above. Also make sure that you have the correct layer selected before you start to draw and that it is a vector layer, or this tool will be disabled. Draw a shape, and then let go to complete the shape. You'll create an open curve. Note that you won't be able to fill open shapes. Check the Auto Close option and draw another shape. When you release the mouse, the end of the stroke will automatically connect to the beginning. Auto Close is handy, because you don't have to move your mouse exactly over the beginning of a curve to close it. Uncheck the Auto Weld option in the toolbar if you don't want your strokes to automatically weld to other strokes that they cross. Note that this will disable the Trim Start and Trim End options. Turn Auto Weld back on to use Trim Start and Trim End options. With Trim Start checked, the edges that dangle between the start of a stroke and the stroke that it crosses will automatically be trimmed off when you release the mouse button. Check Trim End to automatically trim the edge at the end of a stroke after it crosses another stroke. If these options are unchecked when you draw, you can use the Delete Edge tool to manually delete edges as needed. Auto Fill and Auto Stroke work the same way as they do with other tools. You set the fill and stroke colors with the color picker in the style window. If a shape is selected, the new style will be applied to it. The style will also be applied to new shapes that you draw. If you turn Auto Fill off, the tool won't create a fill. If you turn Auto Stroke off, the tool won't create a stroke. You can also add onto shapes with the freehand tool. Turn Auto Close off. You'll see a little red dot when you move the cursor over a curve. That shows where the new curve will connect to the existing shape. After you draw the shape, you can use the Transform Points tool to refine it. By default, each stroke that you create is a different shape. Check the Merge Strokes option to automatically combine multiple strokes into a single shape. After you add shapes with the Freehand tool, you can refine them with the Transform Points tool. Choose File, Preview, or press Ctrl-R on a PC or Command-R on a Mac to preview your drawing. Anime Studio will produce the final output or render in a separate window.